Hello, all of you great, grand, glorious Leos. This is Maxine Taylor, America's first licensed astrologer. And man, have I got a super terrific forecast for you. A couple of answers I want to share to questions I have received. Um, those of you who are studying astrology on your own and want to know about a good book, um, pardon the cheap plug, but my very first astrology book, which I wrote in 1975 and have updated regularly, it's called Now That I've Cast It, What Do I Do With It? This is the book that's going to bring out your inner astrologer very easily, simple to understand. Those of you who uh, remember the movie Groundhog Day, and you are sick of seeing the same life pattern for yourself over and over again, um, but you don't know how to change it, this book may just be for you. It's not for everyone. It's called Secrets from the Womb, the hidden pact that rules your life. Um, the testimonials in this book are mind-blowing. So, I highly recommend this. If you want a one-on-one -on -one with me rather than reading a book, just go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. All righty. Leo, the party does not begin until you arrive. Oh, my dear friends, this is beautiful. You can see that there are a whole bunch of planets right over here involved in relationships and Venus the planet of love is there and so I'm going to talk about Valentine's Day um I don't celebrate Valentine's Day anymore I'm um just it just goes by me is what it does um but for those of you who still celebrate Valentine's Day and just happen to be Leo's, listen up. Let's start with Venus, the planet of love. Venus has been in your sixth house of work, health, and service. So your health is good. You're enjoying your daily activities. Um, everything's moving along because Venus brings love and money and gifts and music and art, all the good stuff. On the 16th, it's going to move into your seventh house of partnership. Mm -hmm. So if you are single and available, go where you might find beautiful, loving people. Um, if you are uh, involved with one person, give them your attention. It will reap benefits. Um, your relationships just move up several notches uh, and enjoy yourself. Um, either, either shower, what's that wonderful song? Shower the people you love with love. Show them the way that you feel. If you are attached to somebody, Sing that song to yourself and demonstrate. Oh, it will really pay off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Venus is what you love. You love partnership. And you will attract people who love themselves. So let's both of you just do it. Okay. Mercury is what we think about and talk about. Um, in the sixth house of work, health and service, you've been thinking about your job and being of service to, to mankind, perhaps on the fifth, Mercury moves into that seventh house and you're thinking about partnership. You're thinking about the one-on-one -on -one relationship. If you are in sales, this is absolutely splendid for you right now because you people love you. And you love being with them. And the you, you will reap benefits from that. Mercury moves into the seventh house of relationships, as I said, on the fifth. 
and then it moves into the eighth house of joint finances, mutual finances. The eighth house is also the house of transformation and transmutation. And so there can be a lot of thinking about your thought processes. You're changing your thoughts, okay? Mars, let's start back down over here, has been in your sixth house. Wherever Mars is, that's what comes first to you. You fight with it, you fight for it, but it is number one in your life. And that has been um, your job. And so that whole arena is now shifting because on the 13th, um, just one day before Valentine's Day, I just noticed it, um, Mars moves into your seventh house of partnership and bam, you are putting the other person first. This again will reap beautiful benefits. So you've got Venus, love, Mars, passion. Hey, celebrate. Okay, now the sun, the yellow planet, the giver of life, the sun is the center of your world. It is in the seventh house of other people. You hear what I'm saying? The theme is so strong. On the 16th, um, excuse me, on the 18th, I can't read my own handwriting. Um, on the 18th, the sun moves into your eighth house. And your ego undergoes a transformation. This is also a beautiful place to uh, create mutually beneficial financial projects. Because the eighth house is other people's money. Get on board. So there you have it. It's going to be a month of getting out there, being with people, and being recognized for the great grand glorious person that you are. Because the party does not begin until Leo arrives. We know that. And hostess or hostesses, if you're throwing a party, make sure you've got at least one Leo on your invite list. And I can hear every Leo saying, all you need is one. No, you don't need more than one Leo. We can handle it. So, isn't that beautiful? Now, Jupiter, the greater benefic. In other words, Jupiter is better than Venus. And Venus is phenomenal. It's in your 10th house of career and public image. And this gives you enormous popularity. Are you looking to move upward in your career? Do it. Jupiter is God's blessings. Period, bottom line, I don't have to elaborate. You are in the cat bird seat. Go for it. Now, the seventh house makes lateral rules. The tenth house goes straight to the top. So, my dear kings and queens, move upward in your career. Now, we've got some new moons and full moons, su surprise. The new moon is going to be on the ninth. Uh, two days before the new moon, there's no energy. Don't force issues, okay? Um, on the ninth, everything starts growing. The new moon is in 20 degrees Aquarius. Find 20 Aquarius in your birth chart. Combine it with what this gorgeous seventh house says and blend the two. Two weeks after the new moon, we've got the full moon. Look where it lands, in the second house of money. Hot dog. It, is, it will be February 24th, and it's in five Virgo. And that means your income, your money, will come to a head. You might say, is that good or bad? Well, see it happening good if you have any doubts because seeds planted on the new moon give uh, results 
and bear fruit two weeks later on the full moon. So if there are mutually beneficial financial uh, agreements, let's just see you reaping the benefits, okay? And I think that just about tells it. Have yourself a ball. And join me next month when once again I take a look at your uh, beautiful forecast. Until then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.